Welcome, welcome. The final chapter. Um, it's going to be the last blog I do. Um, so hopefully we all go okay with this. I hope you guys enjoyed everything that's gone on so far. But uh, let's get straight to it. Uh, here we have a Sharp VCAA370. I even have the owner's manual. It came to me uh, actually as a Christmas present. Um, probably a year ago, I think. Sealed in the box. Still had the tape here sealed. So I've never been for, ever been a used unit. Um, worked beautifully. Probably worked for, I would say, about eight months. Probably used it once a week. No issues. Uh, rewound very well. Quality top notch. I got a tape stuck in there. Can't come out. Doesn't move. You hear something move. Nothing's latching, though. Um, we got to get this tape out. So let's... And I, I don't even know what tape it is. So let's... Uh, Let's get her open. We have it unplugged. Let's see what's uh what's going on. All right, right away we see an issue. First off, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, that's the tape. And we can actually see here, the tape is actually, excuse me, broken. It's actually broken from the cassette itself straight above. So, we're going to plug it in and let's have a look. Oh, this is already like that. This is a weird European one, it almost looks like, because that looks like a European connection, sort of. And then it goes into this adapter. And that's what makes it. But let's have a look and let's see. Okay, it tried to pull tape there. It has tape on one side. But that's it. Now if I go, so we can see right here, we have tape looped through here. I think this tape's got crinkled, so it may be done. And then the tape's not being grabbed here where it should be. And that's nice and loose. So if I go in manually myself, put it in. Okay, so now if I go eject, brings the tape back. Okay, and then it grabbed the tape again. So we're gonna go. Comes in. Takes the tape. Okay, so one of these things wasn't allowing it to rise up because of that thing. That's our broken piece. So that's what we can see. So unfortunately we can't play this tape again. Or we're just going to try it just for shits and giggles. And we are playing. That is awesome guys. That is absolutely awesome. That's really cool. So again, it's playing right now. So we're gonna recap what we've learned pretty much throughout the whole uh, ordeal we have here. Here, big spinning head, it is the video head. Now I cannot see how many heads it does have because A, the tape is there, B, this thing's spinning at light speed here, very fast. We can see here, uh, and you can't see on this side, the tape is spooling. Um, so we're having no issues there. This here is more than likely going to be the audio head. And then this one here is the erase head. So this would erase the tape as the tape goes by. You can see the crinkles just going by the tape now, actually. There's the crinkles right here. It's very difficult, but that's where we had it crinkled from before. Um, so damaged inside. So I bet you that part of the movie itself would have been uh, just bad quality or... Who knows? Maybe we'll watch it tonight and we'll see because it is a good movie. Um, so yes, this would be the erase head and then you have the two pickups and stuff. So what we're going to do is we are going to stop it. Uh, stop is... Stop. Okay, so this should be... So this is fast forward. Then it starts to pick up and you can see it goes right around here, not touching this guy here. Oh, it stopped on its own. 
That's because I think that's max. There we go. That's what I mean. This thing just rewinds. So looking here, you can see the spool getting smaller and smaller, and this thing just flies. The head is spinning, because it's just freewheeling, right? The tape is coming by it. There is no uh, resistance to it, so the tape can take it. So we're gonna hit stop. So it's hard to see, but there's a lever down here that when I hit stop is moving, and I, can, uh, I don't think I can show you from the other side. I will take the back out to see, but I don't think so. We're gonna go fast forward. Sorry, this is now this will be rewind. Go slows at first, make sure everything's okay. Then this thing flies again. So this is my new test tape. But okay, not much we can see with um, the tape out. With the tape in, is the best representation. Um, but uh, inside, underneath here, you have your gears and your forward and backwards, and you can shift it your forward, your reverse. Underneath this case is where all the gears and stuff work. I wish I could take it all apart. Don't want to though, because everything's working. Uh, here you have a little wee motor. That's for your drive mechanism. I'm um, sorry, this here motor here is for the head. The head does have its own motor. This is a one, two, it should be a one, two head unit. Um, so again, we're looking at the two little slits. I'm not gonna do much cleaning because this thing worked. I don't know why it broke it. So next time, if it breaks another one, could have been that this thing just had a wrong latch and when it came in, snapped it off, but that's okay. Um, we're gonna try it one more time just to show you guys so you guys can see, we'll put it in. So this would be exact same as you putting it in at your house. Okay, this would be us ejecting again. So again, this motor does the, all the eject and stuff. So when I press heat go in here, this thing keeps rolling this guy all the way until this thing applies and goes. So this motor does all that. Brings it to a certain point essentially with all these gears that it allows the tape to come up and then it allows it to go around it like this, and then it applies the force onto these two rollers here. So then it goes over the sound card and then comes out. Goes on a 45 degree angle, goes around here. This would be your race head. Uh, again, this would be, um, that's cable. You have your small little AV inputs. Um, not much else to it, really. Again, this will have the infrared sensors, which I'm gonna just have a quick peek for. But other than that, everything's pretty self-explanatory. We're gonna go eject. So it stops it, this roller's gonna come up because the motor's pulling it back. Then the motor keeps going a little more, and that, that's what ejects it. This right here would be your infrared. So this clear piece right here, this would be your infrared to tell it uh, if it is getting light or not getting light. And this would be exactly it. I did watch a video which I posted last time about a guy who with his camera could actually see it. Um, now I don't know if, if, if that's going to give you any help. If I block all sunlight, does it help even more? Okay, so we're gonna put it all back together. We're gonna try it out and we'll see if Top Gun works. I'm not gonna do any cleaning today um, because it is working fine and I know the unit is pretty new, so I'm not gonna deal with it. The grease looks great. There's no dust inside. I don't see any kind of corrosion. Um, so I don't wanna mess with anything that, uh... let's see when that guy pulls, it actually pulls a loop onto here, which allows that guy to spin. Really neat unit. 
Really cool unit, guys. Okay, let me uh, put this back together. All right, everyone. Here we are testing out. So this is the, the Sharp we just had. Um, quick thing I wanted to talk about. I have an AV splitter here. So this one is mono. It only comes with one white. So you, you have your white and your red for your left and your right speakers. Unfortunately, this one actually only when it outputs, it only outputs it to one. So because most TVs are a left and a right, you don't want to just be having it coming out of one speaker. You have this Y adapter that just brings these two. So when it comes out, it goes into one, but this splits it the exact same signal the same way into two. And then these can go into your TV's AV cord. So we're just gonna hook these up, one. Okay, there you go. There's my black screen, there's my one. Oh, look at that quality. Look at that quality. You followed Commander Heatherly below after he lost sight of you and caught no joy. So we're going to do a quick fast forward, see if we can't get a good scene. Here we go, Maverick's getting reprimanded. Uh, no issues with quality, no issues with sound. Um, yeah, that's great news. This is definitely going to be hooked up here tonight. Um, we're going to put something in. Got a couple on the weekend, bought five, found a garage sale. Uh, we got um, Bridge on the River Kwai. Don't know if anyone's ever seen it. Great movie. Uh, Life of Ryan, Monty Python. Um, Blue Hawaii, an Elvis flick, but sealed, still in wrapping. Dirty Dancing still in wrapping, which to me is a, is a big win. Um, and then we also got this one here we've already seen, um, Harrison Ford Blade Runner Director's Cut. Watched that yesterday, good movie. So, just gonna try one last thing. We're just gonna put in our Top Gun just to end it off. Again, hope you guys liked uh, all the blogs that we put on. Um, yeah, it was a great time learning how to do this. We learned all about the drive mechanisms, we learned all about the belts, um, how they run, what to clean. Um, and now open it up, you have a better sense. Again, I'm gonna continue on to dwell further and further and further into it. This will get more intense as it goes. We've yet to take off the whole drive mechanism to see underneath, um, that'll happen one day. Um, eventually it's gonna get into um, circuitry and solder points are gonna be broken here or there. Being able to fix those as well, learning a capacitor is blown or something like that to do that as well. Um, but yeah, um, that's it for today and um, hopefully we'll see you guys uh, later and hopefully you guys enjoyed the journey.